writing style, engaging today, I'm diving deep into a heart-wrenching story that's unfolding in Pakistan-controlled Kashmir, where economic tensions have flared into deadly violence. Just recently, a protest against the soaring costs of living, including food, fuel and utility bills, spiralled out of control. The local people, already squeezed by the economic hardships, took to the streets in a desperate outcry against the unbearable price hikes. Imagine the scene streets filled with the chaos of burning tires, the air thick with the smoke of frustration. Amid this turmoil, tragedy struck. A police officer lost his life. This isn't just a statistic, it's a devastating reminder of the human costs of economic crises. The protests saw shopkeepers pulling down their shutters in solidarity as the community stood united in their struggle. The sounds of dissent were loud, clear, but unfortunately, turned violent. But why such extreme measures? For many, this isn't about a temporary inconvenience, it's about survival. When the costs of basic necessities climb, when families struggle to make ends meet, the fabric of society is tested. And it's not just a local issue. The ripple effects of this economic turmoil are felt widely. Last year, Pakistan teetered on the brink of defaulting on foreign debts. It was only through loans from the International Monetary Fund and aid from other nations that a crisis was averted. But the underlying issues, as we see, remain unresolved. In response to the chaos, Pakistan's President Asif Ali Zardari convened an emergency meeting. The aim? To find a way to calm the protests and address the grievances of the people. But the question remains, will these measures be enough? Can peace be restored in the streets of Kashmir, or is this just the beginning of a larger crisis? Understanding these events is crucial. They are a stark reminder of how closely linked economic stability is to social peace. When people feel pushed to the brink, when they see no other options, the consequences can be explosive. As we watch these events unfold, let's not just see the flames or the violence. Let's look deeper at the causes, the human stories behind the headlines. And most importantly, let's hope for resolutions that bring real improvements to the lives of those affected. Stay tuned and stay aware, because understanding our world is the first step toward making it a better place. Thanks for watching.